Hello everybody, I'm Lizix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to convert a 1.1 GDPS level into 2.1 and vice versa. Let's begin with 1.1 to 2.1. So first of all, this is um, Bluestack's Windows PC only. Um, if somebody can figure out a way, you can do it on a um, rooted Android, but who has a rooted Android? Like, three people? Um, so, for the most part, this is going to be aimed towards people who have blue stacks and access to Geometry Dash on their PC. Um, if you don't have that, well, uh, I don't know. Sorry, I guess. So, first thing you're going to want to do is open up blue stacks. Um, you can root blue stacks. I'll have a link in the description to how you can do that. Once you have it rooted, start up BlueStacks and uh, download a file manager. I'll leave a link to the file manager I have in the description. Alright, the first method here is, of course, with BlueStacks. I have Tool Commander, which is how I access the files. And I have the 1.1 GDPS right here. If I open up the game, uh, you'll see I have a bunch of levels loaded up and ready to go. Um. <clears throat> Alright, so as you can see, I have a couple of levels here, OpenSight and PRC, and you know, the levels that I've made on this server. So if I open up OpenSight, you can see it's here. Of course, why wouldn't it be? This is, this is the level. Nothing's changed. Uh, anyway. So go ahead and ex exit out of GD. Just uh, remember the name of the level that you're going to be uh, changing. Go into your file manager, which is, for me is Toll Commander. Uh, click on the home folder on one of the sides. And click file system root. Data. Data. com Catrego 1.1 gdps and there you can see cc local levels dat now what you're going to want to do is hold that down and copy it to a folder on the other side pick a folder that you can remember on the other side so for me i use internal shared storage which gets you to the files that the transfer thing can see so you can transfer it to your pc uh, I like to use DCIM shared folder, which is where all of the shared files go. Copy your local levels to your new folder. Copy. Copy. If, if there's already one there, just overwrite it. It's fine. Go to the home screen, media manager, and browse to your, um file so DCIM shared folder and there is CC local levels right there hold it down click export to Windows give it a second it will pop up a folder menu like this and then you just select a folder I'll just put it uh, in downloads because that's the button I need to this is where you want to make sure you don't have it um, already there. So if you have a CC local levels in uh, your downloads, you, you're going to want to delete that. Or else it won't actually copy over. Okay, With that done, select the folder. It will now be copied over. And now, you need to... You can close out BlueStacks. Don't need it anymore. Okay, so after you have copied over your CC local levels from uh, Geometry Dash 1.1, the 1.1 GDPS. Open up Geometry Dash 2.1, just real quick. And what we're doing here is we're going to make a sacrificial level. It has to have just one block in it, and it will just be wiped out by the update or the change that we're going to do. So we're going to use FM here. Uh, just place one block in it. Save and exit. 
and then you can close out of Geometry Dash. Next thing you're going to want to do is download the GD save file editor, which I'll have linked in the description, of course. Open it up. It'll open this command prompt thingy. Press 4 to prettify the XML. Just makes it easier to see what you're doing. Enter, and then press 2. Enter. This will decrypt the 2.1 files and make it easy to copy in your data from 1.1. Uh, and it's done. So if we go into the folder where I have GD save file editor, you can see CC local levels right there. Open up both CC local levels in a um, text editor. I recommend Notepad++, which I'll have linked in the description. Everything you need is linked in the description, clearly. Uh, so here you go. This is uh, FM, the level that we're going to be changing. So take everything after this K4 here, highlight it, uh, like, like that. Uh, just go ahead and delete all of that. Leave the uh, S there. And now you go to the level you want to copy from 1.1. This is my 1.1 local levels here. And uh, I already have a copy of OpenSight and PRC. Uh, let's go ahead and copy Collab Lizix part. Why not? So one thing this does not copy over is your colors and your song choice. So if you remember your song choice and your initial colors, any, any color triggers are copied, but the original color will not be. So just keep that in mind. You're going to have to manually change that. And then copy everything in the same K4 string. This time it actually says string instead of just S. So go ahead and copy that. Go to your cclocallevels.dat.xml for 2.1. Paste it in. Save. And then go back to the GD save file editor and encrypt. Done. Alright. Now go back into GD and you should have your 1.1 level in 2.1. Here we go. FM. Edit it. And boom. There is your 1.1 level. Oh, it does actually save your default colors, it just doesn't save the song choice. What did we use? Okay, so we use base server base. Okay, so now I save and play. Oh wow, this is actually unplayable in this version. <laughs> Physics changes made this unbeatable, but uh, that, that happens sometimes. I can just change this real quick so you can actually see. This is the this is the level. If you've played it before, you know it. Oh god. Yeah, physics got a rework since then, so it's kind of hard to play. <laughs> Some of these jumps are impossible on this version, but you get it you get the point. Bubbles in there. All the parts. Well, up to mine, of course, because this, this is when I made it. Um, then there you go. And then you can just verify it in 2.1 and upload it to the servers, or keep editing it with 2.1 blocks. Or you can keep editing it with the 1.1 blocks and then copy it back. But I'll tell you how to do that after showing you method 2, which I actually like a lot better but um, just make sure you only use your own uh, levels for method 2, because I f kind of feel like you'd be a scum if you'd use somebody else's. Anyway, method 2. For method 2, what you're going to need is an internet connection and Geometry Dash 2.1 on a PC. That's it. So what you're going to want to do is I'll... Go ahead and show my Discord over here. So go to the online level browser from the link. 
and then you can see every every level that you want. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. So you can see every level here, all the way to the first level. Welcome to 1.1. I am just gonna go ahead and copy base after base. So copy the level ID, and then what you're gonna want to do is go to the Colab Colab tutorial link in the description. Go to the level string finder here. It will say a 403 forbidden. Just ignore that and add to the end of the link your ID. So for we're using ID 220. Press enter. And there is the data that you will need to be copying into your 2.1 CC local levels file. But before you do that, what you're going to need to do, go ahead and open up Geometry Dash 2.1. There you go, it's opening up. Create a new level, just name it something rememberable. It should end up at the top of your list in CC local levels, but just give it something rememberable. So, uh, replace me with me. There we go. And then just go ahead and place a single block down, save and exit. This will not save your song selection, so you're gonna have to manually change that. It's not too big of a deal, but just in case, it will not save the song selection. Of course, based after base, which is the collab, the mega collab that we had recently, it uses base after base. It's not too hard. So uh, once once you have your replace me level, go ahead and close out of Geometry Dash. And then once you're out of Geometry Dash, open up the GD save file editor. Toggle Purify just makes it easier to see what you're doing. And decrypt with two, and then press Enter. Give it a minute. And there you go, you can see it decrypted CC local levels.dat. And here it is in the same folder that your save file editor is in. Go ahead and open it up with a text editor. I'm going to use Notepad. And uh, as you can see, here we have replace me with 1.1. Go ahead and take this K4, the S tag under K4, select everything in it like that delete it and now we go back to that web page with all the stuff on it highlight everything control a copy it control c and then paste it in save cc local levels and then go back to the save file editor and encrypt by pressing one you're done that's it if you open up Geometry Dash 2.1, the latest one, the Steam version, the one that doesn't have to run in an emulator on PC, go into Create, and there's your level. As you can see, it's all there. Even the parts after mine are now here, since this is the full collab. I'll go ahead and set the song to bass after bass and uh, I'll just go ahead and give it a play. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. I forgot. <laughs> it doesn't work because the physics got changed. The physics got reworked. Fun! Just nerfing the level to make it playable, don't mind me. Okay, so this, this should work. But as you can see, all the level data is intact, except for the song, of course. Ooh, okay, that's actually not beatable. Damn it. So yeah, you, you might need to make some changes to make your level playable in 2.1. Um, but yeah, all the level data stays the same. And you can even port this back if you're if you want to, or if you want to keep editing it with new 2.1 blocks, you can do that too. So, how to copy a level back? This is a little bit harder. Well, it's a little bit easier and a little bit harder. What you got to do? 
Let's go to the Geometry Dash Save Explorer, made by Colin. Find your CC local level, your original CC local levels file, which is easy. You can find it in a percent local app data percent. Find that by pre running with a run command, Windows R. It'll open up the folder and then search for Geometry Dash. Scroll all the way past all those song files. There's your CC local levels. Drag it in. Give it a second. There's open site. View level data. And look at that. It's almost identical to what you would have in 1.1. You can see a bunch of stuff at the top here. That is not normal for 1.1. All of this, all these KA, KS, and the line things, you want to go past all of it. So to here, we've got 139, 2, 255, 3, 6, 4, 1. This is the first block in the level. So go from that first block, scroll down to the bottom of the page. Well, make sure you're highlighting, and boom. Highlight all of the- this is just the block data. It will not copy over level, or song, or color data, or the initial color data. But this will give you your entire level, so. Like that. Copy it. Go to your 1.1 CC local levels, go to the level file you want to change. For me, that is, uh, this is open site, so we go after the KS, KS, KA, whatever. Go to this 139 to 255. This should be familiar. 139 to 255. It's the first block. So then we highlight everything past that. Just do that and back. And we just make sure you have this copied and paste the data in. Save CC local levels. Now open up BlueStacks. Like that. Give it a minute. Alright, now that you have blue stacks open, go ahead and find your CC local levels that you have on your PC. The 1.1 version, of course. Drag it onto blue stacks. It will say files imported to media manager. So then go to total commander. On the left we have the shared folder, which has CC local levels. Hold that. Copy copy and the other side is the 1.1 gtps of course overwrite it and you're done open up 1.1 gtps and your updated level file should be right there as you can see the rotated blocks are all in effect and the extension is there that's pretty much all and of course, you can keep going back and forth and back and forth if you want, but that seems like a pain, so just make up your mind. Ma makes life easy for, for everyone, really. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped. Um, hopefully you enjoy the 1.1 GDPS. Peace out.